Hi, my name is Patrick. This specific video is to tell you how to go about preparing for CAT DLI in the last two months. I scored a 100 percentile in CAT six times, so fairly comfortable with the paper pattern. Also been training students for CAT for more than 20 years. So let's look at how to approach the DLI section. So if you look at the DLI section of CAT, in CAT 22 there were four sets of five questions each, total 20 questions. In CAT 21 there were two questions of six, I mean two sets of six questions and two sets of four questions. I mean, technically, yes, uh, the pattern is such that you have logic questions as well as DI questions in the exam. But if you look at the last two years, there have been one set of DI and three sets of LR, logic. But DI is important because the DI sets in both the years, last year and last year, last year were comparatively easier as compared to logic section. So it made sense to solve the DI section as well as look at the logic section. Now how to prepare? So three ways of preparing. One is solve mocks section test. Helps you to understand strategy, how to behave under stress, etc. Practice. Practice is very important as far as DLI is concerned. The more you practice, the better you become and that helps you a lot. And puzzles. Puzzles make you think. Logic is all about thinking process. And the more you solve puzzles, the better it is. So when you solve mocks, you anyway solve two to three mocks a week. So that will help you to practice. Now it also helps to solve DLR by mock test because it helps you to understand how you react under pressure. So uh, it is a lot of stress because you have 40 minutes, you have four sets, each set is really tough. By the time you solve one set, you realize that almost 15 minutes are done. And if you are not able to solve the set, so 15 minutes are done and you have not been able to solve a single set. So in that case, a right strategy becomes important and solving mocks will help you to build the right strategy. Experiment, find out what works for you and what does not and that will help you. Okay. Anyway, the key to crack DLR is to identify easy sets and solve quickly. I mean, even if you in CAT 22, even if you had solved one set correctly, you would have got a 90 percentile, one full set. So key is identify easy sets and solve. A tough set will be very tough. Easy set will be easy solvable. Pick up the easy set and go about solving them. How to prepare? Practice. I mean, DLR improves with practice. The more you practice, the better it becomes. Okay. Uh, the more you practice like a chess, I mean, if you understand the chess set, the more you solve chess, the more you're familiar with different types of moves, etc. And the better you become. Grandmasters who have spent a lot of time on chess can actually play chess blindfold because they know the pattern. Same way in DLR, pattern formation becomes important. The more you solve, the more you become aware of patterns and that helps. A good source to practice in the last two months would be cat papers and mock sets. I normally don't recommend going to books because books are more in tune with trying to help you with concepts. Whereas mocks and cat papers are more in tune with what will come in the actual exam. Okay. Also, before you solve a set, for every set, spend 1.5 minutes to identify difficult level of a set, whether a set is easy, tough, etc. Okay. Practice three to sets per day, okay, depending on time available. If you're working, if you don't have enough time, then solve three sets. But if you have four and you're preparing full day for cat, then eight sets. And Around 1 to 2.5 hours per day is what I would recommend for DLR. Remember, DLR is very important and a lot of people do problem, find problem in clearing the cutoff of DLR. Helps with practice. The more you practice, the better you become. Next, we also recommend solving puzzles. Puzzles make you think. And remember, DLR is all about thinking process. It also helps you a systematic approach to solve sets. For example, when you solve Sudoku, there's a way, systematic method and approach to solve the question. Same with the different puzzles like Kakuro, Hirako. It tests you on different things and it helps you to solve. 15 to 30 minutes of puzzles every day will help you to, you know, thinking, help you build your thinking process, which will in turn help you in your logic as such. Analysis. Now, for every set you solve, look for the approach used. I mean, you must have used a particular approach. Look at the solution. Is the approach the same or not? Is there a better approach to solving it? If there's a better approach, note it down in the book. Okay, this is the approach I can solve next time when I'm using this set. Okay. Also note on different ways to start because one of the biggest problems a lot of people face is how to start a set. They waste a lot of time and they don't realize how to start. If you know the standard process of how to start a set, it helps. So look out for ways to reduce time. I remember one of us, uh, one of a student who you should waste a lot of time in reading sets before he started. You should read a complete set four or five times. So what he did was he ensured that next time when he practiced said that he could solve the set just by reading the set maximum twice, once or twice. He should read the once, write down all the data as a maximum twice, putting all the data in place and was able to solve the set. 
So he was saved from the time for solving, reading the set three times, four times. I mean, that helped him to save a lot of time, which helped him to solve a lot of DILR sets in the exam. Right? So that means you need to prepare notes that will help you refer to refer the notes later on to help you prepare accordingly. Hope this helps. Understand this. DILR normally you improve with practice. So keep practicing regularly, keep practicing different types of sets. You may find it difficult, but you you keep on trying, I'm sure it will help you to improve. Thank you.